Hello. Uh, in today's lesson, um, we're on lesson 2.8, and we're going to be talking about different ways to show numbers. We're on page 85 of the second grade Go Math textbook. And so listen to this situation. We're going to draw quick pictures to solve the scenario. Mrs. Peabody has 35 books on a cart to take to classrooms. She can use boxes that each hold 10 books. So again, she can use boxes that each hold 10 books. She can also place single books on the cart. What are two different ways she can put the books on the cart? Okay, so let's review. She has 35 books on a cart. She's gonna use boxes that can hold 10 books each, or she's gonna place single books on the cart. All right, so you can pause the video at this point and draw a quick picture to show two different ways to show 35. All right, so 35, well, 10, 20, 30, right? Three boxes, and then that would be one way, right? So we could have three tens and five ones. I could have two tens, which would be 20, and then I could have 15 ones or 15 single books. So either one of those is correct way to show 35. Uh, some of you might have had this. Some of you might have had one 10 and 25 ones. Ten, twenty, twenty-five. Okay, so one ten and twenty-five ones would give us thirty-five. And then someone actually even may have came up with no ten and decided to put them all singles on the cart. And in that case, you would have had 35 singles. Okay. So we could say zero tens, 35 ones. We could have said one ten and 25 ones. All right, so any of those four ways that I just modeled are correct. Okay, you just had to come up with two different ways. Okay. All right, so let's look at page 86. All right, so we're going to continue with this idea. And here are two ways to show 148. Well, this is the simplest way or the quickest way to get to 148. 100 block, four tens, and eight ones. Right? So that's basically its place values, 148. But here, look what they did with the 100. Instead of a 100 block, they traded the 100 for 10 tens, right? 10 tens equals 100. So now we don't have any 100s, but we have 14 tens and still 8 ones. But these are still both equal to 148. All right, so keep that in mind as we do number one. Write how many hundreds, tens, and ones are in the model. Okay, so we don't have to come up with a different way. All we have to do is, what is the model showing us? How many hundreds are in the model? One, two. How many tens are in? One. How many singles or ones? Three. Okay. How many hundreds, tens, and ones in this one? Well, again, I see two hundreds. This time I don't see any tens. So what did they do with the tens? The one ten, they traded it for ten ones. So ten ones plus three ones is thirteen ones. But they're still both equal to 213. 132, what is the model showing us? I don't see any hundreds in this model. I see two, four, five. 
2, 4, 5. So 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 tens and two ones. Well, 13 tens, we know that 10 tens is 100, plus three more tens would be 130, right? So these 10 tens is 100, plus three more tens is 130, plus the two ones. So 13 tens is the same as saying 130. All right, so we could have also written it as 100, two tens, and they traded one of the tens for ten ones, and they got 12 ones. Okay, these again are exactly the same value. Okay, let's look at page 87. Write how many hundreds, tens, and ones are in these models. 144. You see 100, right? You see four tens, and we see four ones. Okay, what's another way of saying 144? So they still have 100, but here you notice they went from four tens to three tens. So they traded one of the tens for ten ones. So now we only have three tens, but we have ten extra ones. 204. So they're showing it with a 100 block and then 10 tens. 10 tens is 100 and four ones. Okay, and in this model, they traded the 10 tens for 100. So now we have two hundreds. We don't have any more tens because we traded all 10 tens for 100 and we still have four ones. All right, number five, Sue said that 220 plus 23 is the same as 200 plus 30 plus three. Is she right? Well, the 200s are the same, right? 20 and 30, are those the same? No, this, this one's 10 more, right? Than 20, and this one has 23 ones. Well, let's see, what is 20 plus 23? So this one is 243, this one is 233. So no, Sue is not correct. No, 200 plus 20 plus 23 equals 243, and 200 plus 30 plus 3 equals 233. Okay, so they're not the same values. Okay, page 88. So marbles are sold in boxes, in bags, or as single marbles. Each box has 10 bags of marbles in it. Each bag has 10 marbles in it. All right, so that has a value of one, right? That's like our circles. This is equal to a 10 rod and 10 tens, right? There's 10 bags in a box. Well, that's 10 of these. 10 tens is 100. So we can represent the box as a square. All right. So how can we show 324 in two different ways? Well, an easy way would be three boxes, right? Because that's 324. Well, I could have two bags. And I could have four singles. So three boxes, two bags, four singles. That would be 324. What's another way we could do it? Could you have 324 ones? You could. Could we have 32 tens? Yeah. But I'm going to do this. How about we keep two of the boxes, and instead of this box of 10, let's make those 10 ones. Okay. 
All right. So all I did was I traded one of the tens or one of the boxes. So I took 10 of the bags out of the box. Okay, so I'm going to send them as 10 bags of marbles, two, four, five, and five more is 10. We still have the other two bags that we already had and the four singles. Okay, so in this case, we have two boxes, two boxes of 10 tens is 200. We have 12 bags, which is 120, and we have four singles. That's not the only way. We could have, you could have one box with 22 bags and four ones. We could have had zero boxes and 32 bags and four ones and so on. All right, so um, so again, we could have zero boxes, 32 bags, because 32 times uh, 30 bags, each of those 30 bags has 10, 10 marbles. So remember that 10 tens is 100. So 30 bags would be 300. And then two extra bags of 10 would be 20. So 324. All right. And then we could go on some other ones and we could have um, like 22 bags and 104 ones. We could have 12 bags and 204 ones. We could have two bags and 304 ones, so on. Okay. So number seven, there's only one box of marbles in the store. There are many bags of marbles and single marbles. Draw a picture to show a way to buy 312 marbles. All right, so we have to buy 312. We only have one box, so that's 100, right? We still have to come up with 212, right? Because if we take 100 away from 312, that leaves us 212 that we have to come up with. So we know that 10... Ten bags is a hundred, so we have one hundred, two hundred. We still need a hundred and twelve then. So, so here we have a hundred, another hundred. That's two hundred, three hundred, ten, and two ones. So you could buy one box, or put them in one box. 21 bags and two singles. Okay. 21 bags is, right, we have 5, 10, 15, 20 bags. That's 200. Every set of 10 tens is 100. So we have 100. 200, 300, 310, 311, 312. So that's one way we can do it. Okay. You can't have more than one box because it says there's only one box of marbles in the store. We could trade some of these bags for singles. Okay. So I'll give you one other example. So we could have one box. And what if we only had... 11 tens, so 11 bags. Well, that would be 110, right? 10 tens is 100, 110, 210, right? That would mean I'd have to have 102 ones. Thirty, thirty-five, 
40, 45, 50, and see how it takes a lot longer to do singles. Okay, so we're at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 102. Okay. So by taking these 10 tens, we had to trade them for 100 singles. So if I'm coming up with the ways of writing numbers, I want to go with the quickest way possible. This is the quickest way and most efficient way. Okay, Drawing a bunch of singles is much more difficult. We could have said, okay, there's no tens, no bags of marbles. And just put it in one box and everything else is singles. Well, that would mean we'd have to take these 210 marbles here, right? Because there's 10 bags of 10 twice. So here's 10 tens. That would be 100. Another set of 100. So we'd have 100, 200, 212 singles just by trading the tens for ones. That would take a long time. Okay. All right. So that's it for different ways of showing numbers. And so until our next lesson, I will see you soon.